In this lesson, let's give you a brief introduction to Cognito. You can think of Cognito as a service with three distinct feature sets. There's the Cognito user pool, which is a managed identity service that manages everything related to user sign up and the sign in. It implements the common user flows, registration, sending verification code to email or phone number, sign in, sign out, forgotten passwords and changing passwords and so on. And it supports best practices like handling passwords with the secure remote password protocol, which is resistant to several attack vectors like dictionary attacks. It encrypts all data on the server side. It supports password policies and it has a number of hooks. So you can use Lambda to implement custom challenges like MFA or capture or do away with passwords altogether and use the magic email links and so on. It supports user groups and you can attach custom attributes on users. And there are admin methods for creating users and finding users by email, username and so on. And there's even an option for Cognito to host a sign-in page for you. But primarily, we're going to use the Cognito user pool to provide authentication for services like AppSync or API Gateway. And it supports identity federation. So you can implement social sign-in with Google, Facebook, Apple and Amazon sign-in. But I gotta say, Identity Federation is not a very well documented feature in Cognito. And in general, Cognito's documentation leaves a lot to be desired. And you also have Cognito Identity Pools, which allows you to take authorization tokens issued by identity providers and exchange them for temporary AWS credentials. In this case, you will authenticate against one of the supported identity providers, including Cognito User Pool. And once you are authenticated, you will receive an authorization token from the provider, which you can send to a Cognito identity pool. And the identity pool would validate the token with the identity provider and issue you a temporary AWS credentials in return that you can configure with the identity pool. This then gives you access to AWS services, including API gateway endpoints that are protected by AWS IAM authorization or AppSync or even talk to S3 or DynamoDB directly from the client. And that's the role of Cognito Identity Pools to provide AWS credentials so client applications can access AWS services directly. In some cases, this is required. For example, if you're building a new IoT device, the device needs to talk to IoT events to publish new temperature recordings and so on. Then you need to be able to interact with AWS services directly from the IoT device. And finally, you have Cognito Sync, which allows you to sync user profile data across multiple devices. But honestly, I don't know anyone who actually uses it. So you can pretty much pretend it doesn't exist.